Previously on New Crits on the Block. I'm back from my grid quest. Successful, of course. Your boss man says, and again, I wave the letter around in a flourish, to leave me alone as a stand aside. Our next step is the queen apparently is trying to get into our ancestors' tombs. I've heard legend of a ancient weapon that can single-handedly turn the tide of any battle. I need found the ancient royal tomb. We have those books back in the restricted section. And uh, you'll know the book uh, it just by itself in a very nice decorative case. Loving it? <laughs> that was a that was a little McDonald's. It was absolutely McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. Sponsored I, I, by McDonald's. Yeah. I wish. Oh, Dude, gosh. if we could get some that McDonald's money, she I don't even want I don't even want their money. Where do you think that McDonald's. Ronald McDonald charity's money goes oh, to? The little toys, the happy meals. Could you imagine? That'd be so cute. That's what you want? Yeah, I want our characters as little toys. Oh, 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 oh yes. Oh, yes. We, oh, we're gonna get sponsored by McDonald's. Okay. Yeah. What do you, you think we're talking about? Oh. <laughs> when we said sponsored by McDonald's. I just got here. I'm not paying attention. I'll just take the food. Yeah, I think me and Matt on the same plate. Just, just feed me. <laughs> I can't remember if I've mentioned on this podcast before, but if if you like McDonald's fries, order them well done every time you go. It's the best yes, thing I started ever. doing that, and thank you. It is amazing. Thank you. Especially you'll never not do it. It's life changing, well, especially when like when you're taking it to go and you're not eating them in the car on the way back, which is what I usually do. Well, you done. don't, but you don't snack a few in the car. Oh no, I do. Okay, okay. I was but like, the wow, was, the willpower. The Ooh. issue is. That I ha- you have to if you don't get them well done, That's right? Because by the time you get home, they're they're, they're, they're not slop. They're yeah, gross. They're, not they're yeah. noodles at that point. Well, yeah. I just eat them in the car. <laughs> That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's what yeah. we're saying. Yeah, is you have you kind of have to if you don't. The get other them thing well is done. is that like density and like nutritional consistency and all that kind of stuff. It's all the same. So like after you chew it up and put it in your stomach, it doesn't really matter. But it's about enjoying it. It's crispier. Oh, yeah. you guys enjoy your food. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. The, it's That's the, kind of like <laughs> the whole thing, Ben. <laughs> My wife is always just like, why do you eat over the sink? And I'm just like, because if I go sit down, the kids will crawl over me. They'll make a mess. They'll cry. I just eat over here. Plus, there's no dishes. And she's you just, just like, eat over the sink? <laughs> you don't even sit at a table? That's not so anymore. Sad. So what do you do when you go to a restaurant? Do you just go back to their sink and eat over that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's really to, awkward. He goes to the bathroom. <laughs> it's like, what's a restaurant? <laughs> yeah. I was no, no, no. I, I just, I, since I've had little kids, I, I don't sit down to eat anymore. Because when I do, it's like either my daughter demands my attention because she's like, oh, you're doing something that is not involving me. Now I'm like going to go make a mess, draw the walls or whatever. And then my, my other kid screams that she wants my food. So I just, I just don't eat in front of them. I just go eat over the sink. Well, is this Freya wants your food? No, Freya just so, wants to go do something else. Oh, okay. Hey guys, about that book. Hold on. This is important. This is, important. <laughs> this is not important. You know, I mean, you can just eat food with a, chi- with a child we're, around. We're, no, we're, we're trying to teach them. It's, it's difficult. Uh, like dinner time is a nightmare at my house. <laughs> Like we bought a dining room table and we don't use it. I feel like I want to, I want to just watch what's going on in that house. (laughs) I don't know what's going on over there. That was the saddest delivery that dinner dinner time is a a nightmare in my house. It's a nightmare in my house. I hate, I, this is why I hate food because everything I associate with it is terrible. (laughs) Benjamin. How about her? How about getting her to read a book? Oh, Oh, okay. Like in the game that we're playing. Huh? Nice segue. Yeah. Good segue. All right. So well, much, in much like her, she gets distracted and runs away <laughs> does something else. She says she wants to do it. And the next thing I know, oh, she's playing so, with other toys. So th- I'm like the parent of you guys for the game. Yes. Yeah. You're, this is my nightmare. What do you think the fucking DM position is? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's of course. <laughs> Corralling oh, cats. Good luck. So this is why I don't want to have kids because I just see them mm-hmm. as little players. We're, we're terrible. <laughs> yeah, but Children we're also funny as fuck though, dude. So are kids. Oh my God. That's being a DM I mean. is like having we're children. Mm-hmm. Like you love you love doing it, but you fucking but hate it sometimes. <laughs> yeah. And you complain yeah. to everybody else about how terrible it is. <laughs> but yeah. yet you keep like, you're, you're like, doing it. Yeah. Like, ah. I, I, I 
work behind the scenes to make it even better and then it's yeah, you work so hard at it and then your players just have sleeping in our bed in our little D&D beds holding our little D20s you're like oh but no, for so me, cute it makes it all worth it for me it when I see the it. end product and then I just kind of tune out some of the other stuff I'm just like oh man oh they're so cute though when they're when they're fighting <laughs> it makes it all worth it yeah <laughs> they're so cute when they're in combat <laughs> <laughs> they don't even know what they're supposed to be doing in the beginning she doesn't you, know what spell she has yeah. she only has mm-hmm. 20 of them I know one of these days she's I just gonna know her spells and I'm gonna be Some so day. proud but so sad that I won't have to explain it to her anymore yeah what's the book say <laughs> <laughs> yeah what that book say the book is oh. blank you idiots oh, gotcha oh! wait it's, just invisible, in it. it's invisible ink hurry get the little thing <laughs> it's it's lights it on fire I was I was gonna gonna say, yeah, put the flame where's it. the blue light yeah where's my blue <laughs> flame torches it and Tenelia runs back no <laughs> you were supposed to use a black light. Oops. Oopsie. Uh, I forgot to tell you. Uh, no. So there's a bunch of scripture and pretty much it says that it is under the, ca- the, the, the big tree, the castle tree. Um, and it's locked away. You have to have the seal of the king or queen. And once opened, it will close in 24 hours, whether you're in it or out of it. Um, Ooh. By the way, I love the idea that the hole in the wall lets the light in and you have to put the book in the light. Uh, yeah, you have to do that. That's, sure. where the hole, that's why the hole's there. Yeah, but the guy's blocking it with his eye. <laughs> oh, Reginald. Oh, oh, you need me to get out of the way? Okay, one second. Not this Reginald. is not a glory hole. So now, now, you're, now you're happy that I gave him a name. <laughs> yeah, and now he pops another hole so he can peek while you do it. All right. <laughs> so tomb needs okay. seal of king 24 hours and it closes. Yes. And you better be fucking out of there. Yep. It has no way to open it from the Wait, inside. Wait, you said seal of king or queen? Well, the ruler. The ruler. Okay, so there's only one. There's not like two, like a little heart lock like, no. that goes together like best friends. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> have to put All it right. together. <laughs> best friends. So you're not going to like add day. any extra Thank bullshit you. to this, I don't this, know what right? that song's That's what it honest. says. <laughs> That's really? the whole yeah. sentence. Yeah, no idea. People, let me tell you about me. No? I know I, I know the song. I don't know love who, hand like hand what hand is, the what's the song name? Is it called Best Friends? I just song of Robin Big. That's all you need to know. But oh, it, there you go. That, that's why I know it, actually. So okay. you have 24 hours in yes. there and then it locks forever. Once yeah. it's open. So Regardless are, of the seal. So, yeah. But if they've already opened it, then that Wait, 24 what? hours may have started. So they can started. never get in if they go in. There's no in-out privileges? Well, you can you can go in, but you have to get out within those 24 hours. And if you get sealed in, then yeah, it's kind of closed forever. And no one so you can't be. unlock it from the inside. Yes. But that's you can re-enter it. if you've gone yes. out with the seal. Yeah. This, is, this, is, this is like an old walk-in refrigerator. You just don't close the door behind you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Got it. Okay. Exactly. Um, okay. Uh, so, right. so you also lack safety regulations within your <laughs> kingdom. OSHA's going to be all over us for that one. Uh, Elfsha. Elfsha. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, it also says, it also mentions about the bow, Skyrender, and that it is uh, laying atop the tomb of the first king. And that it was gifted by Anu. Oh, all right. Uh, well, the guess the tomb is underneath, so you know who'd have guessed. Probably could have thunk that. Uh, but it says it's underneath the castle again. I probably could have surmised that myself. Uh, oh, so we just need to keep going down. Yeah. So the is there like a secret passage somewhere? I imagine that passage is probably down. Yeah, we take the root of Ata <laughs> down mm-hmm. below the tree. What? Okay. What? No. no just, yep. He he doesn't he doesn't want to like it, but he does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking if there's something better, but I mm, no, I think that does it. All right. Good luck thinking of it. Uh, and the only way in is to have the the seal of the uh, royal seal, but. Um, it, so- it sounds like the queen probably already has it. So there's no other Wait, way. To- well, so I assume my aunt has the seal. She's headed there now, which we know. Once it's opened, it's open for 24 hours. And then it closes behind itself. So if she's opened it recently, which I believe she has, it's probably open now for the next 20 hours or so. Well, then time is of the essence. Right. We must- That's what I'm saying. Then we should. But she has it now. She's already in there. Right. We can go after. She can't close it. Oh, okay. So we can go in after her. Got it. Right. 
But my point is, is that like, she now has a head start. Mm-hmm. We need to, Cause she's I'm not so much concerned about us getting the bow for you to use. Although like, hey, I, you well, know, icing on the cake. Well, that's if it even exists. Well, my concern is if it does exist and she gets it before we get to her. Right. We, we need, right. I don't understand. We need to go. No, I know. I'm telling you the situation. Katan starts walking towards the door. <laughs> okay, where are you going? <laughs> Down the Ruta Veta. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so. Um, I, is there anything we need to do prior to leaving? Because I feel like at this point, we've realized that now time is not on our side. It's not. I was just giving some exposition for the listeners. <laughs> the who? <laughs> so, that, yeah, that's. Reginald. <laughs> Get yeah, out of here. Reginald, the, li- the listener. <laughs> oh, thanks. I, was, I, I couldn't really see that page. Just there. his just his ear is coming out of the <laughs> hole now. <laughs> uh, yeah. So so I think that's kind of our plan is that we know we know it's open. Yeah. Because I assume I assume she's gone down there because that's where they were going, and we're going to try to find that area now that we have an idea of where to look. Okay. To follow her in there, I guess. Yeah. Um, as you guys are starting to make your way to the, uh, I try to say tree soul, like a, a tree castle, but I didn't really like, it just sounded like. I thought you said tree soul, like the soul of a tree. Oh, that sounds better. Yeah, like we'll call it tree soul. the bottom of a tree. No, mm-hmm. I was yes. trying to think of like the, a castle made out of a tree. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. Uh, so you, you go, you go back to the castle, um, the tree castle, and you... As you're walking there, um, you start to feel the wind picking up around you to the point where it becomes deafening. Just you? Just Awen? No, we were all in the castle. Us. Okay. No, you're you're in you're in the archives. The archives aren't in the castle. They're next oh, to it. Okay. All right. We'll give you a little we'll make a little map later on. No, we won't. <laughs> no. Okay, okay, no, no. So we're not so in we're, the castle. We all okay. are feeling this, not yes, just Awen. Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure. Leaves start to get stripped from the nearby trees. Grass blades start to uproot from the ground and all of it uh, starts to enclose around Awen. A vortex of greenery surrounds you and as quickly as it came, it's gone. The rest of you, Awen's not there. I'm sorry, he vanished in that? Yes. Awen, as... The greenery disperses. You see it drop to the ground. And as it hits the ground beneath your feet, you realize you're standing on clouds. The vast blue sky stretching out as far as you can see. In front of you stands an archway made of clouds and beyond it, a building made out of clouds as well. And you hear a voice echo from within the building. Awen, I've called you here to the Echo Stoa to talk, so please make haste. We have much to talk about. Uh, I'm going to look around and try to get my bearings for a second because uh, I, I, I have no idea what happened. You look around and as you're looking, you kind of see this cloud pathway leading to the archway. It's just kind of a straight shot. And you kind of look down below you and you can see the forest where you were standing just moments ago. Look like a speck on the planet. Uh, Okay, did did I recognize this voice at all? Mm Mm-mm. Um, actually, give me an intelligence check. Okay. How, how high up is he? Is he like like curvature of Earth height? <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. I, I just... <laughs> yes. No, no, no. Yes. I, curvature of Earth. I'm just talking about for like... getting He's in the orbit. Feet, cruising altitude. Uh, a 10. Straight a ten. 10. Cloud level. Um, it sounds familiar. Okay. You can't place it, but you you feel like you've heard something similar to it before. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll start making my way down the cloud path towards this yeah. building, I guess. Yeah, so you walk along these clouds. It's a strange feeling. It's soft like snow, but firm like concrete. Your okay. feet kind of sink into each piece of cloud and then hit something underneath. And no matter how you kind of like shuffle your feet, all you can see is cloud underneath. And you continue on to this building made of clouds, stretching hundreds of meters out on either side. And you see these 
uh, doors just kind of open up in front of you. And inside is a giant opening. It's just an open room. You see art all around. And as you kind of look around, you can see pieces of history. Um, the humans fight with the um, elves. The, it's, it's like a history book of art. And wow. in the center of the room, you see a small figure. And as it kind of turns over, it is a four foot five cat. Blue hair. And you see that they're not wearing any clothes, but the wind is going so fast around them that it's obscuring the view of their chest and lower body. Hold on. So it's like a cat person? person. Yeah, it's a cat person. It's kind of okay. like, a, like, a, like a tax, what are they called? It's a baxi, it's but a like baxi. small. But like four foot five, yeah. Okay. Okay. On a top, dwarf on a tabaxi. Uh, yeah, and I've never wind. seen a creature like this before, I assume. No. And they're okay. blue. And they're blue. Uh, hi, were you speaking to me a moment to go? Yes. Yes, I was. Welcome, Maywin. Where am I? You're in the Echo Store, my sanctuary. Uh, th- thank you for the invite you're well, most welcome why and I, i'm gonna be looking around at the art um why am i why what is happening why am i here what's going i have some very much pressing business uh down there so oh, don't I, worry what seems like ours here will only be quite a few seconds back in your world but welcome you're in front of the king of kings anu the Titan. And I'm going to point down you? Yes, me. Y- you're Anu? Yes. Oh, I can't tell the gang about this. <laughs> <laughs> thought you'd be a lot. <laughs> this is one of my many appearances, yes. Would you mind doing one that's like cooler? No, I like this one. I Cats know. have a sort of grace about them that not many animals do. But could you be like a big cat though? Like a panther? Uh, he get, he just makes himself taller. Like 6'5". But no. I mean, I guess that's better. But it still looks like a blue like house cat, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like look down below the clouds and make sure they're not like looking up. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? They can't see me. Catan like, cast crying. Oh, all right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Thanks. Um, so, yeah, you're my... Titan daddy, so it seems. That's, I, I know that everyone else has apparently talked to theirs, and where you been? Oh, well, I've been trying to gather some intel. Uh, on? On what's happening. Oh, yeah, us too. Because it's quite strange. It is strange. So, before we get into the, the nitty gritty, I need to know, Awen, what's your end game? Why are you, the aloof Awen, helping? Is it some personal gains? I, I don't know. Uh, I didn't really think that far ahead, if, if I'm being honest. Well, now is the time. Now? Right now. That's too much. That's a lot of thought. It's a lot of thinking ahead. Well, if you want me to bless my power upon you, I need to know. But I already have your power. I've done it before. Yes. Hmm. Can you no ha- gives these backsies. That's, that's Titan Rule 101. Would you like to be more powerful? Yes. Well then. What, what is Awen getting out of this? I don't know. Uh, I am getting... I am being able to... Make some sort of difference, I guess. I guess. I don't know. I'm I'm helping. Ugh. In a way. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I would be lying if I'm not if I'm not saying I'm not getting personal things, because I am. I, I think it's unavoidable, but I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to not I don't know. I'm trying to help help people that I care about along the way. Hmm. That will suffice. Oh, thank God. But you'll have to think harder on it. Oh. Because <laughs> trying times are coming, Awen. Coming? They're here already. Oh, this is child's play. I had to read a book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> well, uh, for listeners at home, please wait. A1 has broken Jake. And I'm so sorry for that. <laughs> That's why I'd have all these paintings. I don't have to read. See? <laughs> that wouldn't that be easier? That is child's play compared to what is coming. Do you think war among titans is going to be easy, Awen? I don't know. You have a bunch of powers and stuff. It sounds cool. The last time we fought, we, well, technically we created this planet. On a, it was quite catastrophic. <laughs> Cat. <laughs> Meow. Um, <laughs> you got those meows in there. Yeah, now yeah. we're really RPM. <laughs> and also, this time's different, as I'm sure you're well aware of. And I don't know why. And I have a suspicion that it isn't all just Fuma. What do you mean? I'm. Getting the sense that our sister Glace is maybe has a bigger part in this change than she's letting on. Oh. She didn't allude to anything like that. She seemed as, as dumbfounded as apparently everyone else, except for Fuma, maybe? Well, she's lived quite a long time. I'm sure she's gained the skill of acting. As have we all. That, I feel like that's not good, right? No. Huh. No. And that's why I brought you here, Eowyn. We need to keep an eye out. On? On the other titans, their champions. All right. Because I am quite fond of the races. And honestly, from what I can see, you, your uh, people, and all the other races don't really need uh, intervention on a catastrophic level. You seem to um, level the playing field yourselves. Yeah, we have a inkling to do that sort of thing. I've watched so many emperors, empires rise and fall that I don't see the point of interfering anymore for you will just do it yourself that's a very sad observation but yeah I guess it is but it's just a way of your kind it is it's the ebb and flow of the world I guess now I don't want you to tell your party members done (laughs) Oh, easier than I thought that was going to be. Is it? <laughs> well, I know you're good at keeping secrets. Yes. I just, I thought you were going to argue on the sake of your comrades that to give them information that oh, they might need. No, no, no. That's, no, that's not important. It's fine. Okay, well, then that's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like I said, we are going to, from now on, keep an eye out on the others. Mm-hmm. I'm not keen to play their games, nor have I ever been. But now it seems that I must. Because I don't really want to see all of you disappear. You're quite fun to watch. So, I'm going to give you a little bit more control of your power. Oh, all right. Now your friends might think that you've met me with that and I'm sure you'll think of some lie to persuade them otherwise. Those fools will have no idea. (laughs) Don't worry. Let me handle them. Now, on to the next matter. Your aunt. As you know, she's the other one. I didn't know, but I had a suspicion, Uh, so I'm not surprised to hear that news. Oh, well, she is. Uh, Yeah. And I see that you've been having quite a difficult time with or ability. Yes, I guess you could say that. Now, I want to give you some insight on just what she is doing. You seem to think that she is controlling your mind. Uh-huh. Well, your 
not entirely wrong, but you're not right either. She is making your mind go blank for a brief moment. What she's actually doing is controlling your body with wind. So I'm like a wind puppet? <laughs> yes. It's an easy way to explain it. Because if your mind was, if your will was your own, you'd resist the wind. But if it's blank and you're, you have no will to resist, it is easy for her to manipulate people. I just thought of a really cool name for myself. And what is it? Windbreaker. <laughs> That is quite a name. No, that is really good, though. It is. I've honestly wished that someone could call me that. Well, you... Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was first, so too bad. Never mind, you don't get cool powers. <laughs> <laughs> and you're stripped! Um, but... Okay, well, that is a cool name, but moving on <laughs> from that. Totally not jealous, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it just sounds like someone who's, like, farted. I know, I was just going to say, it just sounds like a fart guy. <laughs> no, it doesn't sound like yeah. a fart guy. It also, does. Also, like, a windbreaker jacket. Cheese yeah. cutter. <laughs> Cheese your cutter. Gu- your titan is dumb, and you just make a lot of farts. <laughs> <laughs> spooky season, spooky. Spooky season, welcome to the middle break and spooky season, spooky season, spooky season, welcome to the middle break and spooky season. <laughs> hey everyone, it's your favorite player, Matt, obviously here with the middle break during spooky season. Meow, 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 meow. Yeah, so, you know, uh, just counting down to maybe possibly an episode coming out soon that has to do a lot with spooky season. <laughs> not trying to not trying to overhype anything, but, you know. Trying to overhype a little bit, okay? But again, let's talk about what we can do before that even happens. Let's talk about what you can do to help us today, all right? The first thing you could do is to subscribe, rate, and review to our podcast wherever you get your podcasts from. We're on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify, and pretty much any other podcatcher out there. So if you are listening to us, we're obviously on that one. Go, go right now. Subscribe, rate, and review, and make sure to leave us a five-star review, all right? It really does help us boost those numbers. It really helps us with the social proof. It just helps us a ton, and it's a really easy thing for you to do to help us out, okay? The other thing you can do that helps us out a ton is by following all of our social media platforms. You can find us on Twitter at New Crits. You can find us on Instagram at New Crits on the Block. And you can find us on Facebook at New Crits on the Block. We are always posting content that you yourself can, can retweet repost, share to your story, share to your sphere of influence, share to all your friends and family, because that's how we are growing right now. It's the only way we're growing. That's just word of mouth. Okay. We need your help to do that. And you guys have been amazing at that the last couple of years. We have grown more than we thought we were probably going to, to be honest. Uh, And we want to keep that up because we want to reach more ears and grow our listening family. All right. Speaking of family, Fan base? Did somebody say somebody say did somebody say fan base? I could have sworn I heard someone say fan base. No? Was it just me? Okay, anyways. Speaking of our fam base, we have made our own Discord specifically for new crits for all of our fans to interact in. You could talk to the cast, you could talk to other fans, you could talk about your DD projects, you can share the art, the creations, the characters, the campaigns, and we got stuff about pets and food and plants. We got a little bit of everything, all right? There's so much to do and so much to talk about and so many people to talk to in there. It's just our way of giving back to our amazing community for being so great. Now, you might be thinking, well, Matt, I want to do all those things, but how how am I supposed to get to all those places? Well, from our link tree, of course, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash New Crits on the Block. We'll get you to all those places, plus some that I didn't even have time to mention, okay? L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash New Crits on the Block is your central hub for all things new crits. All right, everyone, let's get you back into this week's episode. Spooky season, spooky season. Everyone is talking about spooky season. We love you. We will see you next week. Obviously, episodes come out every single Monday. Keeping that train a-going. Choo-choo! Or should I say boo-boo? See you all next week. Bye. Bye.
Fart Breaker? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a cool name. You guys fucking know it. You can't ruin this for me. I, I mean, I'm just thinking. Of, I'm just thinking of a jacket. That that like swooshy jacket. Yeah. A windbreaker. Yes, but like those when's the last movie saw a person in a windbreaker and was like, that dude's cool. Fucking going down the slopes. <laughs> you, I mean, we don't really wear windbreakers. You we wear like You ever seen Windbreaker Jones? <laughs> windbreaker Jones. No? Is this like an Osmosis Jones thing? <laughs> <laughs> it's the antithesis of Osmosis Jones, because he's way cool. He won't let anything get in. Uh uh-uh. uh. I haven't yeah. actually seen Osmosis. Just, Osmosis, everything gets in. Which you think it. I would? Windbreaker is like no. Nope. He just swishes through it all, dude. Okay. It's, <laughs> that was a good windbreaker noise. <laughs> For those of you at home, Matt's actually wearing a windbreaker. I am not. Don't you specifically I, told us? All right. At the start of the podcast, no puffy swooshy jackets. All right, I admit it. I'm windbreaker Jones. <laughs> <laughs> we turn back, and there it is. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so Windbreaker's a cool, hella cool last name, and you all know it is. <laughs> and I, and I, everyone, everybody knows it's cool. And continue. <laughs> a wind Windbreaker Lithios. Make, it's not like the I you don't put in the middle. <laughs> just I am Wind. You know what I mean? I'm Wind. Oh, that's Windbreaker, like the king. Did you just hear that windbreak? I think you just. It's, so is it like your sound when you're flying over? Just <laughs> <laughs> everyone knows it's a cool name. That's the final. That's that. I think this is why A1 doesn't. A1's like, I'm not gonna tell you when this happened. Oh, to protect my secrets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally, totally that. So I need to, I need to, I need to spy. You, so you think everyone's involved? No, I don't think everyone's involved. What I'm saying is, oh, you, t- we, we talk. I don't know about that portion. I don't know if they're all involved. I, I still need to gather more intel on that portion. Um, but regarding your aunt, when I. Give you my blessing. You'll be able to control wind effortlessly. Don't know why. Unlike my ability to speak. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) (laughs) That is not effortless. Uh, You will be able to see the flow of wind. And with that, you should be able to maybe not completely stop her uh, using her power, but at least mitigate it. And I have another request for you, and that's to not kill her right away. Uh, Why? Because we need to gather information, eh, Ewen? Information is power, and we need to figure out exactly what Kerrigan was planning here, and why and if she knows any of his further plans. And the only way you get that information, well, you can ask a dead person, but usually after you kill them, they're not very willing to do it. Trust me, a lot of experience in that department. But So does she have your blessing as well? Uh, she does not have my blessing, but somehow she has circumvented it. Okay. And which is one thing that I'm starting to see more and more of. The because it seems like all of our counterparts, by the way, are way stronger than we are. Yes, I'm thinking that has something to do with Kerrigan. Okay. It seems that he has some sort of ability or something to empower those that follow him. Great. Okay. All right. So where are? It sounds like. I'm on the right track then. How did I get here? Is this a path? Can you summon? Did you summon me? Did I walk into a portal of some kind? Oh, no. Well, I just um, very quickly shot you up into up here. Oh. Um, luckily, my the wind around you kept you, uh, for all signs purposes, safe and sound. But like you, in one piece? In one piece. At this point, we notice his hair is totally messed up. His cloak <laughs> yeah. is like over the side of his shoulders, leaves stuck in him. <laughs> So, um, summoning, yes, not really a portal. Just think of it as instantly getting shot thousands of miles up into the sky. Definitely not how that might works with miles. Nope. Thousands of miles. Thousands of miles. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you'd be in, like, space. Sounds good. You know space. how this world works, dude? Space is, the orbit's really big. Well, orbit. I mean, that's, 
you could argue that like the atmosphere is thousands of miles high. He's yeah. a cat god in a cloud city. I think I was good with that. To worry about. I was fine with that. But as soon as you start messing with Earth. astronomy and the atmosphere, I'm I'm now. How do we know that even exists in this realm? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't. There I might not be you. outer space. It only exists unless I say it does. There might not be outer space. And guess yeah. what? You know how they measure uh, <laughs> how fast you're going in water? Miles per hour. It's like Olympus. Like yeah. you go up, you don't yeah, go. To, you don't no, go to space. You go to Mount Olympus. There's you go no to... sci-fi in our fantasy world. Yeah, we don't have it. Not here at all. No, no. So that's the next. So wait, campaign. at night are there stars? Yeah, our boulder tooths are. <laughs> yeah, well, those are just also are twinkly, there stars at night? Those, those are just, are just high little fantasy. fairies. Yeah, little twinkle fairies in the sky. No. The stars are other gods. Yeah, yeah. they're other gods. How many fucking gods are there? There's a, a lot. lot. Of, I know there's a lot of gods. I like the idea that there's only like 18 stars in the sky. <laughs> no, there's a lot of gods. <laughs> just like one, two, there's three, a ton of gods. Yeah, there's like, look at the DD list on D&D. You'll be surprised. It's not that many, but yeah. It's, it's a, a lot. lot. It's enough. It's a lot. Fine. All right, we're good? No, but <laughs> fine. Say, are we best? Not, ask him. Uh, we start that conversation. This is going to be a whole new podcast. Yeah. Yeah, I would not want to be part of that podcast because <laughs> that would be boring. Okay. Um, some people are totally into that. No, some people are. And those people are boring. So, <laughs> Oh. Wow. All right. Just cut that out. Shout out to, shout out to people who like, like lore. I'm leaving it. Leave it in. Lore likers. I'm leaving it. Leave you it. You ain't nothing but a let's lore pull, liker. Let's polarize this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, well I mean let's that's how some people this community huh? <laughs> yeah. divide it. Yeah. Divide no, that's how some it. people get like get like attention. You know, it's, it's like we could be like the um, like the uh, hot take podcast. Yeah. yeah, you know, like the divisive. Yeah, like like Disney versus anime. Ah, no, I'm trying hot to think take. what that guy was name. He was in. Uh, he he wasn't in it, but there was a movie was made about him. Um, why can't I remember his fucking name? He was a the radio guy? Howard Stern. Thank you. Tracy. Oh. Dick we could Tracy. be like we could do like the Howard Stern thing where you just say like you just say crazy and yeah, inflammatory like, women things. Women in D and D, not in my game. Yeah, you know. And then all like of a sudden, you Christy, see your get out. I'll play, but I know I'm worse at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we know. I'm not breaking any barriers here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. We just make the hot takes. Um, just that clickbait hot take, like a D and D shock jock. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Shock jock podcast. Yes, for D and D, I love that. So yes, so I would recommend keeping her alive to get some information out of her. And after you get the information, do with her as you please. Uh, all right. Uh, is that it? Um, unless you had any other questions for me. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to a literal type, it was like, ah, no, I'm, I'm cool, man. You're not as Who cool as like, I thought you'd be, yeah. so I'm yeah. gonna love it. <laughs> I just love it. Like, why are you a cat? Why are we here? What's the purpose of life? He, honestly, he doesn't care about any. He doesn't care. Does not care. I feel like. Well, that's true. When a when when uh, Katam met his god, he was like, "I'm mad at you." Yeah, you were mad. Yeah, <laughs> a wouldn't care. He doesn't care why he's a cat. Fine. Doesn't really care. That's, that's, that's all right. Whatever. Like that's your steez, I guess. Well, then with that, I suppose you are welcome to go back. Yeah, uh, we're on the right path, I assume. Yeah, yeah, no, just keep following the path of going down. All um, right, and you'll just call me up when you want an update, I assume? Um, yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll know when I will need the update, so. All right. We can, oh, almost forgot to mention this. Yes. Um, be careful exactly what you say if you do kind of leak any kind of information. As um, us titans, you're like a, um, another part of us, like a vassal of sorts, mm -hmm. so we can... Pull information from you, but only from our specific champions. Does it feel weird? You won't even notice it. Oh, okay, good. Which is the worst part, is your other compatriots know things, especially us looking into and investigating the other titans. I gotcha. So, Eowyn, hmm? farewell. And with that, as you try to go and say <laughs> something, Wynn just... <laughs> And a vortex goes around you again as just as suddenly as a wind disappeared, a, like a, just a bolt of wind crashes into the ground and a wind is just kind of standing there like his hair is kind of just fluffed up even more. How long has it been for us? Uh, like maybe a few seconds. Quick joke. So he kind of like, he like sent him a lift. Yeah, I was going to say like beam me down, Scotty, or something like that would have been a better... To get him up there, you know, like, how you get me back here, I'll just send you a lift. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, All right, sponsored, sponsored by Lyft this week. No, nope, we're not doing that. Nope. <laughs> Lyft is awful. Yeah. Aren't they all awful? Rarefoo? 
Yeah, they're all. Uh, I, don't even, <laughs> they're I haven't all even started drinking yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Me and you, Ben, we're gonna kill it today. <laughs> all right, so okay. so drunk, dude. <laughs> what? Hey, what? What just happened to you? Hmm? Huh? What you? Look what at you your mean? hair. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you look a mess. You just oh. did a wind thing. Oh, you well, you winded. Yeah. Oh, oh no, did I? <laughs> In front of everyone? In front of everyone. Oh, yeah. no. First act as king. <laughs> uh, he broke the wind. Uh, Wait, can he see all the wind around now? Yeah. Oh, like, not like crazy, but yeah, he can see all the wind around. Why? Meteorologist my Awin. Is, my joke is just oh, like no. that, like now every you can see how many people are farting. Oh my god. <laughs> That's not the wind though. It's oh just, like, god. little streams from everyone's butt. Like it's happening so often. <laughs> you would be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 as you're standing there, the entire party just let one rip. Yeah. Oh, it's like when god. you have a hypersense, you know, you're like, oh god, everybody's <laughs> screaming. It's like, Taunt. oh no, everybody's <laughs> farting. <laughs> Tons is <laughs> <a> squeaky. Um <laughs> but, but, why? I'm going to be looking at everyone real suspiciously now. Okay, well, that makes us more suspicious because so so Catan sees Awen vanish, reappear with wind powers and then stare at us all suspiciously. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? I'm fine. Are you okay? Yes. Awen, is Mm -hmm. that you? Is that you? Quick, tell us something only Awen would know. No. That's right. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, it's him. Tim. Uh, Wait, wait, what, what just happened? You vanished. Very briefly, yeah, but what was like all that a, wind? You did like a, and you were gone. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, just quick. I'm, I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get down to where we need to go. Wait, to, by disappearing? How did you do that? Uh, that's, that's, is that the first time that's happened? Can you do uh, that like that? Now when you're right in front of us. Yes. Li- no, you don't. I've never seen you be able to. Okay, Boral can teleport. I can kind of misty. Well, well, or, I guess. I'm going to be okay? like, hey, I'm going to be like, why don't you just ask him? Ask him who? Him. Who? Him. He's right there. Who is that? The second everybody looks, I'm rolling to stealth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I look. And I have advantage. 17 plus four plus 17 plus nine, 26. Uh, yeah. You guys look back and Awen is not there. <sighs> It's, cla- it's cloud. Okay, wind. yeah, clever, but a win. I'm gonna pop up behind the pillar. Ha! See, it's not. I do it all the. T- I do it all the time. Why is this a? Why is this a weird thing? To yeah, you guys? it's not accompanied by a bunch of wind. Also, you didn't. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you would never mess up your hair voluntarily. <laughs> and it's real bad. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put my hand. Oh, uh, uh, a win. As you go and do that, the wind. Pushes your hair perfectly again. Ah, ah. What? What is going on? How are you doing that? So, so I'm trying to think about how much how much Catan would be able to like infer that this is like weird and Awen's being Roll weird. insight. Yeah, because I, I don't want to just be like, well, Catan oh, knows what's going that on. I just. Nat 20 on his insight check. Woo! Doesn't mean you don't know I spoke to a god. Yeah. Well, yeah. no, but. You know he's acting suspicious. But you know he's acting suspicious, su- which you already knew. Shit! We already knew <laughs> that. That's what I mean. So, so knowing, that Katan, knowing that A1's acting suspicious and rolling a nat 20 on an insight check, what would he be able to infer about his behaviors? So, that he's a dirty liar. Yeah. <laughs> like we've already Pretty known. Pretty what you know about you A1 already. Just you can't get to make no him information. Tell you stuff. I'm going to read his mind you can't, Well, he's not, he's not yeah, lying. you kind of do. Like, no. that's the whole purpose of an insight check. No. The insight set check is knowing whether someone is lying or not. You have insight on that. You don't get to know what they're lying about. Like, if, if, I, if I said, hey, no, he an insight check like is a Vulcan m- mind mill. No, no, you know? no, insight check is not just like, are you lying or not? But so it, tell me how you would intention. know what that's I so much did. lying, but I'm not, ask, I'm not asking, I'm not asking. You would know he's being suspicious. Yeah, you can't. You can't infer, but that's obvious. Yeah, which is why you're the one that has to roll. Though I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna have you roll to know that he was suspicious. I said that. Okay. Well, I feel like all all I'm asking for is some guidance in regards to what what information Catan would be able to infer from the situation, so that I can act it out. I don't want to just be like, 
well, you vanished and then came back. And then there's like other people who have like tight and stuff. And there's like weird wind things going on. Like, I don't want to be like, you clearly talked to Anu and he's a cat. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not asking for that. I'm just want to be like, would Katan know when Awen is deflecting? Yeah, Katan. he's very, he's very clearly <laughs> deflecting that's, though. That's okay. his whole cool. Yes. that's his whole thing. Yeah, yeah. You know so, I am. So yeah. with with a nat twenty, I think Katan would just kind of look at Awen and just go, "Are you doing your thing when you can't tell us what's going on?" <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not asking you to tell us what's going on. I'm just asking you to tell us if you can't tell us. <laughs> I feel like I'm just being me, baby. (laughs) (laughs) (sighs) Hey, we got we we got to go. We got to go. Time is of the essence. Uh, Yeah, whatever, man. I you're so freaking weird, dude. Okay. <laughs> so freaking weird. I just want to make sure you're okay. Freaking and you're just going to disappear into the wind again. Also, isn't Lorelai here with us with all this? Yeah. She's just kind of like there. Everything is <laughs> everything is fine. Because I don't think she's spoken for the last two episodes. <laughs> nope. There's been really no reason for her to. Everything is completely fine. Okay. Everything's fine. I promise. Everything is fine. Are you going to tell us when it's not fine? Probably not. Can you tell us Do when I it's not to- fine? Wait, wait, wait. Let me rephrase. Please tell us when it's not fine. Sure. And then yes. I will continue walking down the stairs. Perfect. Yes, that is good. I would cast Zone of Truth on him, but he just skirts the questions. I would just leave. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've proven in the past that I can stop you from moving. You got to catch me first. I can earth, I can earth <laughs> find <Slowly> him. Grass. <laughs> just grabs his arm. Yeah, well, yeah, and we could force information out of him, but then, like, we're doing the well, you one. You have to force information out of me. Force it out of him. Hey, Ooh. When- <laughs> <laughs> and then he's gone again. It's funny because I, in real life, began to <laughs> look. <laughs> Works every time, baby. <laughs> but no, my point is, is that even if we were to do that, then we're actually just doing the one thing that, uh, that, um, the hell is the queen's name? Sylvanas. Sylvanas has done to him, which is like. Well, that's what I was going to say. A I, complete break in trust. We trust you, Awin, but you Good. know that you've been controlled before. So we just want to make sure that's not you getting tra- oh. controlled or trapped by anybody. No. That's a fair thing to ask to just make I, sure you're okay. Am I attacking okay. you? Well. No maybe is the if answer. If I was standing right where you just whooped down, maybe you would have. No, everything's fine. You did look at us awfully suspiciously. Not that like I care gonna, anymore. <laughs> yeah, that, like you were going to get your little sword out. Give us a little. I'm not looking at you killingly. Well, There's no killing. For you guys, now. It's a kill look. <laughs> That's a yeah. kill look. <laughs> it's a just kill stare. Okay, just be. Matan takes his nat 20 and walks away. <laughs> Please let us know. If to use st- it at a different time that I'm saving. Because <laughs> yeah. I didn't get shit from that. <laughs> Can't just, get anything from an insight check. Just true intentions. That's it. Yeah. What are what are Awen's true intentions right now? To lie. To lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> he, there's nothing. There's nothing to defer. Whether he's he's not saying anything. Uh, he's truthful yeah. in intentions. If he was trying to deceive you, there's that would be a different. But he's not. He's just not saying anything. So there's nothing to like. Everything is fine. I just want to make sure you're not being controlled. Again. I'm not being controlled. I okay, want to go. If you start go, to feel a little I, if I feel tingly. A little, yes, a little tingle, a little bug in the ear or something. I'll let you know. But right now, we we'll need to stop the queen. We'll snap you up. Sna- we yeah. do need to stop the queen. We need to stop the queen. Uh, Let's go. Let's do it. Lead the way. I don't know where we're going. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> to the root of air. Yes, to the root of air. Uh, so you guys make your way to the Rutavator and it looks really cool and it's like Rutabaga, a, it's, it's like a you know uh, elevator made do I assume roots. we like go in the castle and go into like a basement or something you I, go, I know where the Rutavator there's is there's a sign that says this way uh-huh. down to the basement yeah this way down to the yeah, secret entrance has been lost for all time yeah it's a code thing well it's we a boiler signage. room but then you know there's no actual boiler well, in there the boiler spins around and that's the entrance yeah we have to Ooh. find the secret lever yeah Lever. 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 Oh, lever. 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 Why do you have to find the secret lever? To be able to turn the. You don't want to pull the wrong. To liver pate. Mm. Anyways, we go to the rutivator. Yes, you go to the rutivator. You write write it down deep for like a minute. Real deep. That's That's long. That's deep. Uh, And as it 
comes to a stop. You see a row of torches on either side with a blue flame lit upon all of them, kind of giving it like this blue hue in the room. In front of you, you see a single door that is now open. It looks like it was a uh, a straight wall that kind of opened up into a doorway. And beyond you just see a dark cave. And that's about it. You can't really see that far into it. You just see like a, a dark tunnel up ahead. Uh, can I take these torches out? You may. Is there a reason why these things are blue? Not that you're aware of. It's just really cool. All right. Uh, can I use my insight check on that? <laughs> yeah, it, it's blue. Cool. Boral, Boral, any reason why these are blue? I mean, I, I know... That it's my. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I just didn't know if you, you could know, no ascertain. Anything. I don't know enough blue flames. I just didn't know if you could gather anything from that. May I? You may. Arcana. Yes. Okay. Uh, twenty not nat. Twenty not nat. You would have heard about this. It's the eternal flames. That <gasps> it's never the go out. Eternal flames that never go out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna pull my canteen out and just kind of like. You know, a little bit of water on it. Uh, the water sizzles and dissipates before it even hits the torch. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah. All right. It's um, real hot. Real all right. Hot. Uh, well, onward, I guess. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll grab one of the torches, even though I don't really need it. Okay. Like, you know. You we need a torch. We're spelunking. We need a torch. We need yeah, a torch. I mean, you, cool. have, you have to have a torch. I want to be like Indiana Jones, so yeah. I'm grabbing a torch. Do I, I, I believe we should probably walk down here. <laughs> yeah. I believe good, you're right. Yes. yes. Good insight. Is check. this the door? <laughs> Wait, is this? Was, did you use your 20? That was your 20 right there. <laughs> is this the door that shuts theoretically in 24 hours? I have no idea. Is there, a, I, can we like, I, I want to know where we have to be eventually. Can we check it to see if there's like a little spot where the. Um, yes. Someone can make an investigation check if you would like. Boral, Boral would be you best may. That, but I guess we can all do yeah, it. Yeah, sure. we all well, we all don't. That is another nat twenty. Okay, there you go. <gasps> See, check the dice because I got a five. <laughs> I wouldn't be rolling. No. Why can't I use these on my combat rolls? Um, yeah, that's another nat twenty. <laughs> uh, you can see that there is a little like uh, indent where it looks like a little uh, circular symbol would get put inside of and on the door it just says only the dead may enter the way is shut uh is the circular thing does the does it have the thing in it uh yes i take it out okay it doesn't do anything ah let's open the door just shut and go problem solved (laughs) (laughs) what if we just put a really big door jam so it says only the dead may enter yeah i stab anyone (laughs) (laughs) not again (laughs) He doesn't um, die, but he definitely does bleed a lot. <laughs> uh, are we? Am I like Low Wood? What happens when we step through this? If it's well, I can't read Elvish, so I wouldn't know what it says. So, yeah, it says only the dead may enter. Katan pushes Awen in. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of get pushed through, um, and with my torch, and as I I go through it, you know, yeah, and then uh, as you're walking down. Uh, you see not actual, like, um, you just see a bunch of statues of all of, like, the famous elves that have come from your city. And at the very end, you see your aunt and the two girls, Emerald and Sapphire, standing in front of the... First King's statue. And you see a knife held in both of the Queen's hands as she raises her hands up and plunges it into her stomach.
You just crop dust an entire field. Okay. <laughs> so Anu. Sorry. Oh boy, he cremated he made his Anu own. Is also he broke himself with that joke. <laughs> Who crop so dusting? <laughs> yeah, I love that. That's all it takes is fart mean. noises for Jake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, that's that, that's top quality comedy right there. Okay. Yeah, farts, farts are funny. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well timed farts. Not Anybody? just any fart. That's true. Or not true. funny. Or not funny, yeah. <laughs> or not funny. Or just has never farted. Just imagine, I just imagine like a 38-year-old man one day just like, <laughs> oh, is it? What? And getting family horrified, <laughs> like what just <laughs> happened to me? Yeah. And, and, and then start laughing. And like, then they feel oh. amazing. <laughs> you guys just see what I just did? <laughs> Everyone's like, like, yeah, dude. Just hear that? man. Does it have a blue hue? It has a blue hue. There's, a, there's also a blue hue in there. It's like, hey, I'm Hugh and I'm blue. <laughs> And then he dies. And then he dies. Just, oh. He says, says "You who? I'm blue who." <laughs> Come this way to the secret room. <laughs> and then he then he goes to eat a mushroom and then just passes out and dies. So cool. Okay. All right. Great. Um. <laughs> you were fully on board. You don't, you don't get to deny it now. 